Ever watched a drone soar smoothly through the air and wondered what's really powering that tiny flying machine? You might think it's all about the battery or the fancy GPS, but let's zoom in a little closer, right to the very heart of the drone, the motor. Drone motors are like the unsung heroes of flight. They're compact, powerful, and ridiculously precise. But how do you even begin making something that small spin with such insane control? Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of microengineering to answer one question. How are drone motors manufactured? Let's break it all down right here on History of Simple Things. First, let's talk about what a drone motor actually does. Whether it's a consumer drone filming your vacation or a military drone flying a critical mission, they all rely on motors to generate thrust. Typically, drones use something called brushless DC motors. These motors spin the propellers, which in turn lift the drone into the sky and help it maneuver through the air with pinpoint accuracy. Brushless motors are favored because they're more efficient, produce less heat, and have a longer lifespan than traditional brush motors. But just hearing that doesn't do justice to the engineering magic behind them. So how are these motors actually made? Let's start at the very beginning. The raw materials. Manufacturing a drone motor starts with sourcing the right materials. The two primary components inside any electric motor are magnets and copper wire. For the magnets, manufacturers often use neodymium, an incredibly strong rare earth magnet. These tiny magnetic powerhouses are essential for creating the electromagnetic forces that spin the motor. The copper wire, meanwhile, needs to be super thin and incredibly pure. We're talking about 99.99% copper in many cases, because impurities can cause resistance, which wastes power and generates heat. These materials might not look like much at first, but they're about to go through a transformation. Let's begin with the stator, which is the stationary part of the motor. This component is essentially a ring made up of tightly packed coils of copper wire. The manufacturing process here is surprisingly intricate. First, manufacturers create a laminated steel core, which looks kind of like a donut with slots around the edges. These slots are where the copper wire will go. Now, winding this wire isn't something you do by hand, unless you want it to take forever. High-speed winding machines wrap the wire around the stator in incredibly precise patterns. These coils are then insulated and sealed with resin or epoxy to prevent short circuits and heat damage. Once that's done, the stator is often heat-treated or baked to harden the resin and lock everything in place. Now onto the rotor, the part that spins. This is where the magnets come in. The rotor typically consists of a cylindrical metal core surrounded by neodymium magnets. These magnets are glued into place or press fit onto the rotor shell. But alignment here is everything. The magnets must be positioned perfectly evenly around the rotor to maintain balance. Any uneven distribution can cause vibrations, inefficiency, or even catastrophic failure when the motor spins at high speeds. Some advanced manufacturing facilities use robotic arms or automated alignment systems to place each magnet with microscopic precision. Once the magnets are in place, the rotor is often coated or sealed to protect the magnets from corrosion. Neodymium may be strong, but it's also vulnerable to moisture and oxidation. With the stator and rotor ready, the next step is installing the shaft and bearings, then putting it all together. The shaft, usually made of hardened steel, runs through the center of the rotor and needs to be perfectly straight. Even a tiny flaw can throw off the motor's balance at high speeds. It's supported by ball bearings, 
which reduce friction and allow the rotor to spin smoothly. These bearings are press fit into the motor housing and are crucial for stability. Once aligned, the parts are assembled into a lightweight aluminum casing. The rotor fits over the stator with minimal clearance, just enough to let electromagnetic forces do their thing without anything rubbing. After assembly, many motors go through a balancing process where small tweaks are made to prevent vibrations. Then comes testing. Motors are run at full speed to check RPM, torque, power efficiency, and heat. Some are even tested under simulated flight conditions. Only motors that meet strict performance standards make it past this stage. Anything off-spec is scrapped or recycled. After all, these motors might one day carry an expensive camera or hover above people so there's no room for error. It's easy to overlook drone motors because they're so small, but don't let their size fool you. These motors can spin at tens of thousands of RPMs and are designed to respond to micro adjustments in milliseconds. Think about that the next time you see a drone hover perfectly still or make a sudden smooth turn. That's not just software at work, it's the motor reacting in real time with laser sharp precision. What's even more impressive is how these motors manage thermal regulation. With all that speed and power packed into such a small frame, heat buildup is a serious concern. Many high-end drone motors are designed with built-in cooling features, like ventilation holes or heat-dissipating materials, to keep them running safely during extended flights. It's not just about spinning fast, it's about staying cool and consistent while doing it. And here's the kicker. Many motors are now custom designed for specific drones. Racing drones, for example, prioritize lightweight construction and high RPMs. Camera drones, on the other hand, need stability and efficiency. That means the motors aren't just mass produced, they're carefully tailored for the job they'll be doing. So, how are drone motors manufactured? It's a blend of advanced materials, microscopic precision, automation, and serious quality control. From winding copper coils to placing magnets with robotic arms, every step is meticulously engineered. These motors may be small, but they're the literal driving force behind every airborne moment we've come to take for granted. So next time you launch a drone or watch one zip through the sky, remember, it's not just technology, it's tiny scale craftsmanship in motion. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.